Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today, we're going to be talking about the license issues around Stranger Things, and not really specifically that, but can it happen to other licenses, and will it happen to any other licenses in the game currently? Now, thankfully, we do have a definitive answer on whether it's currently going to happen to any other licenses, but also what I wanted to do in this video is make sure that there's no other licenses in the game, no other characters that are currently in a bad situation, or could be in a bad situation anytime soon. But before we jump completely into this, I would like to ask you guys if you are updated, informed, or entertained, please consider leaving a like on the video. It helps out a ton with visibility, and it means a lot to me. And also, if you want more Dead by Daylight content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That also means a ton to me and helps out the channel immensely. So thank you all so much for that. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So we just made a video the other day talking about Stranger Things and what actually happened with the license and why I was leaving. I'll link that here if you guys want to watch. It'll also be in the description down below but to give you the gist of it it seems like stranger things is leaving dead by daylight because netflix themselves are diving into the game development industry which means they'll be producing games and they wanted their stranger things ip to be specific to them so they made it completely exclusive to them but that's not the only thing that can have a killer or chapter survivors whatever it is as far as licenses go that's not the only thing that can get it pulled from a video game or that can just cause it to never come in general and we've actually seen this happen with Friday the 13th, the video game, and the movie series itself. What happened there is a lawsuit between the original director and the original writer basically arguing over who created the character who owns the rights. According to the Copyright Act of 1976 or 77, technically it belongs to the writer, but in that case, the director is arguing that the writer was an employee, so he doesn't technically own the rights whatsoever. And that's why that lawsuit is going on so long, and that's why we haven't seen Jason in Dead by Daylight, and that's why the Friday the 13th game is no longer being updated or supported. Now, what the devs did say when they were asked about any other licenses happening, this was actually answered in the Stranger Things FAQ for all of the questions about what was going to be happening with perks and everything else. It says, does this situation also apply to other licenses? and they say this only applies to the Stranger Things chapter. So there's our definitive answer of what's happening at this current point in time. But that still doesn't answer the question of what could happen in the future. Are there any licenses that are currently in trouble, in lawsuits, legal hell, whatever else, or are they branching out into video games and maybe want to have themselves exclusive? Well, actually doing research on this, there's only two other licenses in the game that could potentially run into a problem along these lines. One of them is Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, if you guys don't know, Wes Craven did pass away six years ago, but his estate back in 2019 did get the rights back to A Nightmare on Elm Street. According to the deal, Wes Craven's estate will only possess ownership in the U.S. New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers still control the property internationally. So, there's nothing to stop them from negotiating on working on future projects or anything, but there's also nothing stopping one of them from wanting to pull it from something like Dead by Daylight or anything else that it's in. While I don't think there will be a problem there, there's always the chance for one because you have two different entities controlling a license, one internationally and one specifically in one country. And with Dead by Daylight being an international game played all over the world, maybe Wes Craven's estate wouldn't like the idea of that and they'll making that much more money on it so maybe they could set out a lawsuit to actually have it pulled from the game i don't really know entirely how that would work or even if there would be a problem there i doubt there would be but there's always that worry when there's two entities involved in one license the only other one in the game from my research that actually could run into a problem is the ash versus evil dead chapter and not for any of the previous license issues when it came to ash versus evil dead or evil dead army of darkness anything like that because there have been those problems but very recently if you guys haven't heard about this i'll be very surprised there is a new evil dead game coming out that was announced there's gameplay for it everything else it was shown off at e3 it just got delayed and will be coming out early next year now the thing about that is it is an asymmetrical game it looks to be an asymmetrical game so there's multiple survivors and then there's a couple of killers trying to hunt them down so with them being in the same genre of game basically competing against each other for people who are buying buying each game and playing each game, it's probably going to attract the same group of people being in the same genre. So maybe the Evil Dead license holders could be like, hey, well, we're going to make Ash exclusive to our game 
so everybody has to everybody who wants to play as ash or play an evil dead game has to come to our game instead of settling for playing as the character in dead by daylight i do feel like that is a real thing that could definitely happen and i feel like that's one of the reasons that we didn't get jason in dead by daylight when the friday the 13th game was hot and just released and everything else they were building up that game and didn't want to have people able to play in two different games and pick and choose so they got all of the player base for jason over there that could be something that happens with the evil dead game although unlikely because i feel like if that was going to happen with the game being announced it had a release date for this year and only got delayed to add single player elements to the game i feel like it's less likely because i, f I feel like if it was going to happen it would have already happened to build up hype for the evil dead game itself but it does seem like those are the only two chapters licenses in this game that could actually run into a problem in the future i don't think any other license in the game is actually trying to branch out to video games or having any other lawsuit legal problems or anything uh, along that sort either so it looks like we're pretty safe as far as every other chapter goes it's only really in my mind ash versus evil dead that i'm worried about but in the back of my head there is also that slight worry for a nightmare on elm street but i do want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments down below was there a license that i missed is there a license in the game that is actually going through a little bit of legal trouble and i just didn't find it let me know down below and what do you think about these two licenses that i mentioned are you worried about these as well or do you think we're pretty safe when it comes to them let's have a conversation about it but that's gonna do it for me dudes thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it my name is Tootin. i've been your host and i'll see you dudes next time peace out